What's up, Kelly Crew? It's Sean. I'm back with another mukbang. It's been a few days since I've been, well, actually about two weeks since I've been on my YouTube channel, but I've got a lot of stories, lots and lots. Uh, if you guys follow me from the beginning, you'll know that my dad died. My mother died in 2016. My dad died uh, in March 2020. And let me tell you, it's been a nightmare uh, with the grieving process moving on. And now the part uh, where we have to settle his estate, sell the house, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's a lot, it's a lot. And the only people that are really helping, that are actually helping, are me and my sister Lonnie. And uh, anyway, I'll tell you, it's a lot, it's a lot. So let me get started. So today I'm going to have some Vietnamese pho, pho again. And let me tell you, I am ready for it. Uh, it's a comfort food to me. And when I'm stressed, and I'm under a lot of stress, I want comfort food. So Vietnamese pho, here it is. And uh, here, let me let you see what I have going on. There you go. I have... Oh no, I think I'm a little too far back. Let me fix you up. I want to make sure my friends can see. There you go. Fix my clothes. I haven't even had a chance to enjoy my uh, my braids. I've been so busy cleaning and doing the other stuff. But anyways, here you go. Uh, Vietnamese soap. Here you go. I got some oxtails. Oxtail pho. And uh, I got the bright idea that I wanted some noodles. So I put some of those extra, extra spicy ramen noodles. Uh, I took the faux noodles and I mixed them with uh, the spicy noodles. And I think that was a mistake. I kind of wish I didn't, but anyways, here you go. Here's the pho noodles and the ramen noodles mixed. And I think it's gonna be really hot. I have some brand new kimchi. There you go. You know I have to have my kimchi. I'm excited to have that. I haven't had kimchi since I've been cleaning that house. So, cucumbers, some lime, bam, <laughs> and uh, some Thai fish sauce with uh, uh, Thai bird chilies and some finadini sauce if I need it some squid sauce, uh, fish sauce, and of course, half water, half juice, a little bit of uh, ice, and some lime. Okay. So what you guys been up to? I'm just kind of taking it easy. Today is the day off. Yep. Today is my day off. I'm doing all that cleaning. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I've been warming these oxtails up so long that they almost, uh, it almost reduced the broth too much. So, Ooh, I'm ready to be vegan. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some lime juice on this and then I'll get started on what's been going on. I like a lot of lime on mine, I love it. I like that tart taste. And I love, love fish sauce. I have to say fish sauce carefully because I, I, when I say it, it, um, it doesn't come out right. So take some fish sauce. There you go, a little bit of that. And there you go, bam. So what you guys been up to? It's so good. Wow. I was right, it's hot. So, like I said, this is pho noodles mixed with those spicy hot ramen noodles. Make sure nothing's on my face. When I was eating on my last video, I saw something sitting on my nose for a long time. It was tissue when I wiped my face. Oh man, I love, love oxtails. And I'm addicted to eating Vietnamese pho oxtails. 
Mm. It's from the same place. Can't see it that good, let's see. Turn it out just a little tiny bit and pull it up. There, now I can see everything. I hope you guys can see. These are spicy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. They're good. Mixing it with those fun noodles, it took down some of that spice. That's why I couldn't eat them last time that much because it was just too hot. Mm. Oh, that's spicy. Very hot. Oh, they're really spicy. When I warmed these up, I stuck a Thai, some Thai chili peppers in there and it's hot. Ah. Ooh. When they make this uh, pho, ox, oxtail pho, um, they don't season it heavily, so I'm gonna put a little bit more fish sauce. I don't care what I love I'm addicted to fish sauce I try to put it on everything and it let me tell you it can pretty much go on anything everything too at least in my opinion everything I put it on it just kicks it up a notch yep that's my opinion Ugh. let's try my new kimchi and see how it is mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. This one's regular kimchi. It's not vegan. The mother-in-law kimchi was vegan. This one is not. And the last one was uh, regular. Never fails. My dog's down there with her doll. Mm -hmm. some of that fat on it this one didn't have too much just enough mm -mm -mm. a little chewy but it's still good one bite mm. one with a little bit of fat <coughs> just a little bit and uh maybe i'll check it out with the uh with the fun noodles Let's see how that see how that combos together I'm going to just put some kimchi up here. I 
I love them. I said I love kimchi. Uh. I love that noodles, the spicy noodles, the pho, a little bite of kimchi, and the octa. Mm. So good. you know what I've been up to so like I said after my dad died you know he left us uh, his property my mother went first and uh, so we have to clear the house before we can actually fix it up and sell the house and that has been a nightmare I love my parents but you know in their last years they became a bit of a I don't know hoarders so if anybody's ever gone through that their parents hoarding at the end then you know what I'm going through. And when I tell you, every room was packed to capacity with stuff, junk, old clothes, old shoes. Um, sorry, my dog's down there doing nasty things to her toy. But anyways, <laughs> when people are older, you know, they, they hang on to things more than they used to. And uh, when I tell you, the house was filled to the brim. Oh my God, it, it was filled to the brim. we have to clear it so we've been tossing stuff rolling things down the, the stairs mind you this is a five bedroom house five bedroom house a den humongous backyard uh the front because we have to do that too as well clear the stuff and then after all that stuff oh and both bathrooms are just were, were trashed we repaired one bathroom and one is already remodeled um both bathrooms are uh, pretty remodeled, but we have to replace the toilet on the uh, upstairs one. And also, too, we have to put the shower on the new one downstairs. We have to clear the backyard, clear the front yard. I mean, it's just, it's, it's too much. Okay? And, get this. We haven't even started on the garage. The garage is filled to capacity from top to bottom, from side to side with old clothes, old shoes, old toys, furniture from back in the day, years ago, that they didn't want. Why they didn't throw away, I don't know. But, you know, it's gotta be done, so. All right, if me and my sister don't do it, nobody's gonna do it. Cheers. To experience something like this, unless you're going through it, you really don't know. But, uh, like I said before, it's a one day at a time process. We're getting there. And it's, it's slowly coming together. Mm -hmm. I love that. This part of the bone where it gets uh, jelly-like. Mm -hmm. I love that. So we have a lot more to do, but at least we don't have to worry about, you know, if there's no rush, we can take our time. And so now what we're doing, and we're uh, throwing things into the trash. We bagged up all the stuff I was telling you about, and we tossed everything in the trash and into big trash bags. You know, those deluxe black heavy-duty ones. 
it cost almost thirty dollars a box yeah those kind anyway so we've we, we've uh bagged the stuff up in that and now what we're going through is uh trashing uh the biggest stuff and the city only lets you throw away five big ticket items per month we have lots lots and lots of big ticket stuff so what we're gonna do we asked some of the neighbors if we can use their uh their their uh house to throw away some things and it's you know two of them said yeah so okay that'll help cut down some of the drama but that's what i've been up to it's a beautiful house you know before oh well it was a beautiful house before it was you know gone into disrepair but slowly it's coming back you we're starting to see um the potential of restoring it back to its former beauty so too chewy <laughs> sorry about that too chewy but yeah it's just gonna take some time and the plumber's over there right now i didn't go over today the plumber's over there right now uh taking care of the plumbing the whole house is shot the plumbing is just this it's horrible and then the pipe broke yesterday and so yeah the backyard is just flooded with all this water so yeah it's a lot have you guys gone through something like that uh a family member with a hoarding issue let me know i'd love to hear how you handled it i'd love to hear if you have any tips and words of encouragement leave it down below i appreciate it oh my god more than you know more than you know i miss you guys what a lot of people don't realize at least for me youtube is a um, allows me to release stress because i can talk to people that i don't know i can get things off my chest and um, i don't know it, it means a lot to me having this youtube channel and for the people that choose to follow me, man, I love you. Appreciate you. I'd love for my channel to grow bigger. But just right now, I just don't have the time to devote uh, to an everyday video like I was trying to do in the beginning. And I was doing really good. But um, if you guys will stick with me, I'll crank out some videos uh, every couple days. You know. And if you want, I'll even um, bring you on my journey in clearing my parents' house. And... Uh, you know, it's it's a bit it's a bit hard to do it because I don't want to be judged and I don't want people to judge my parents. They were older, you know. They, I don't want to judge them. People to judge them for how the house ended up, but you know, there were other grown people living in the house. They weren't the only ones living there in their older age. So, but anyway, that was then. This is now. I'm gonna get it together, and I'm gonna get it, me and my sister. We're gonna get it together, and we're gonna get it back to uh, the way it used to be we're gonna do it so let me know what you guys did when you experienced the hoarding issue did you inherit your parents house or family members house how did you I don't know how did you put it back together without the drama and the tears that I go through daily so yeah it's it's deep so I'll have some more kimchi before I say goodbye Mm. How about some kimchi and noodles? I'll let you have one more bite. Mm. Maybe two. Oh. Well, I want to thank you for watching. If you made it down this far, man, I appreciate you so much. Please like comment below let me know what you want to see would you like to come on my journey as i clear my parents house remodel it and get ready get it ready for sale would you like to see that let me know below thank you so much i appreciate you subscribe to my channel just know i still have that offer of an amazing giveaway when i reach 500 followers so tell a friend about my videos Watch my videos if you can watch them more than once. That would really help me out. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.